shout out to Jay Wyatt. He is my Australian cousin. He made the truth about Screwface Gene. So, let's see what we get. I figured why ruin a good thing if we're talking about facts. I'd like to address the reason for why I'm making this type of video. Unfortunately, with the type of video it is, I know it's going to get some type of views and that isn't the reason for why I'm making this video. The main reason for why I'm making this video is this person has been acting really out of place on this platform lately. And not only do I see that, many other people see that too. So I want to bring this mm. situation into light and I want to show people that acting a certain way at a certain level of exposure is just not right. I'm sure that if you were following someone that was a racist, disrespectful, hypocritical, lying manipulator and you didn't know about it, you would want to know. On to the video. <laughs> If you haven't already heard of a YouTuber that goes by the name of Screwface John, he is a reactor slash rapper that has been stirring a lot, and I mean a lot, of shit lately on the internet. And has just been acting massively out of place, man. You probably mainly only know him from the whole Dax situation that he had with Dax, about Dax not handing up his end of the bargain, and the whole I'm not Dax diss track. And it's kind of funny, because I used to feel very bad for Screwface John and what Dax did to him. Come to find out, He's no better than Dax. And here's why he's no better than Dax. So it all started out with the whole Crypt YouTube Cypher Volume 1 situation. Mm. And if you don't know what the situation was, it was behind the scenes Crypt. Ah, uh, somebody told me a little secret about the K button. Press it and it pauses. I love you. It says, I'm going through one of the lowest points of my life right now and y'all want to bitch to me about how there wasn't enough black artists or women on the first cypher what y'all don't know is that i asked six black artists and four women to be on the cypher no woman responded three sixths of the black artists agreed two told me they couldn't get it done in time and i and one didn't answer y'all also don't know that the second cypher has 10 black artists one of which is female that's right and two white guys the 13th spot is up to the fan vote with over 200 submissions, not a single female submission. This is the type of BS that makes me want to stop doing music. It's all political now. Nobody listens to the actual music. I'm five seconds away from losing my effing mind from real life stuff. So this is the last thing I want to see. The first cypher wasn't chosen by skin color. Neither was the second, nor will anything in my life. Listen with your ears, not your eyes, and leave me the F alone. Yeah. The other thing that I said to Screw and his disciples was, did they bother to help Crypt? No. They bitched. <laughs> yep. So I'm glad that he spoke up for himself. I'm glad that he did this because uh, it was thanks to him that we got Dizzy 8. I mean, thank God. Thank God. Crypt was having a lot of trouble with the whole YouTube Cypher Volume 1 situation with a lot of people on that side. Finally, apologies to those who got shorter verses than others. Gee, I wonder who complained. I told everyone to give me 16 bars. Some were a little confused on that, and that's my fault. I d Crypt is sometimes really too nice. I definitely didn't short you because of skill. Everyone on the cipher was amazing. Lesson learned for next time. Give him a break. And for those upset because their favorite artist wasn't on this, there will be more ciphers. It's hard to get everyone on board with the same vision and a few miscommunic miscommunications happen, just like they did with this cipher. I'm not sure if you guys know how hard it was to try to organize this cipher, but I did my absolute best and he did amazing. He did amazing. I can't say that enough. And he tried to please everyone the best that he could. I spent countless days staying up till 4 a.m. organizing, editing, writing literally everything for this song. Hope y'all enjoyed. It was probably one of the best highlights of YouTube. Honestly. But some people, sadly, his own friend, if that's what you want to call him, was the one that complained the hardest. I don't know. That's, but they're grown men, so whatever. I'm just stating what I feel. 
decipher if you aren't aware of the situation. Now, mind you, I'm gonna show receipts and screenshots throughout the whole video to back up my statement and claims and everything in this video, so don't worry about that. Now, behind the scenes, Crypto's having problems with people saying that there's not enough black people on the cipher and, and people were just getting jealous that they weren't on it and just stuff like that. Come to find out that behind the scenes all along, it was screw face. Yeah, because he's saying he's going to take a break on white rappers for a while. <sighs> oh, and there's my name. Honestly, I had to lay off Callie's videos a while back because of the topic. This S is getting gross. A little racist? There's only one whole entire toxic but you know, whatever. Like I said, sooner or later you guys will just deal with karma. I said my piece and believe me, karma got me for being just as bully-like to you guys, to these people. I had migraines, I felt sick to my stomach. It angers me because this is what they do. They talk about me, why? April 11th of this year? Like, what do I have to do with any of their... Uh, nothing. Nothing. He's complaining because there's too many fast white rappers. Okay, did you help Crip find any fast black rappers? Nope. You just sit up on high and dictate. Okay, and then everybody just freaking agrees with you? Who would have never had Vinjay? I mean, Fable, heard Chase. Ugh. And these people stand by you. That's the even saddest part. <laughs> people that you talk bad about stand next to you. Whatever. It's John that had a problem with that cipher. Now I'm sorry, Jay. I, I gotta see this. I didn't really pay attention. Rue face John that had a... Look at the YouTube cipher like nobody sees that. I definitely see it. I do too. Well, of course. I'm about to have to say something. When have you not? This is getting out of hand. Like, there is a clear white bias on YouTube. Do what you feel. We got you. So what they mean by we got you is we're just going to go and bully everybody until they agree. It's not like half of America is black and half of America is white. Black people as a community is very small. There's not very many black people. The really awesome ones that have like all this talent, they're in Hollywood for a reason. They are talented. A lot of them are also in sports for a reason. Talent. The ones that are on YouTube are trying to do something. Dwayne TV. Dizzy 8, for instance. I mean, I, I don't remember the last time you helped find anybody. Lex Bratcher. That's the one that Crip was the female black um, rapper at Crypt, like, got her submission, got her in there, and she's amazing. Holy. Let's go. A problem Show with that stuff. Now, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, really. wasn't it Screwface John who reacted like this in the cipher? That's a throwback. There's left That's me. a bar. <laughs> That's a bar, son. No! That's trying to see. There's high res. Dude, one of the most badass, fast white rappers ever. Wow. Yeah, these are all people I rock with this guy. Oh well. I don't know. Who knows what he told him? Train squad. He's the moment like an epileptic, see, seizure, seizure, the moment like an epileptic, he's the, 
Ah! It's dope. It's dope, man. But then behind the scenes, he's posting comments like this. So pretty much he's saying yeah. that there's too many white people on Cypher Volume 1. Yep. So Screwface Jean not only in the public shows that he thinks YouTube Cypher Volume 1 was a good record. It's dope. It's dope. Behind the scenes, he's saying there's a white bias on YouTube. Now to me, that kind of sounds very racist. For a person who says, keep it a buck, who claims to keep things real per se, that is a load of fucking bullshit. So in the screenshot, he says, yeah. I'ma take a break from white rappers. This shit is getting gross. Something needs to be said. Look at the YouTube cipher. So not only does he have a problem with white people being on the cipher, he's the- ah! It's dope. It's dope. He has a problem with there not being enough black people on the cipher. Not that long ago, he also tweeted out this bullshit where he says, I'm just gonna say this. Black rappers on YouTube are wildly un underrepresented and do not get the same looks as others. If you hate me for saying that, I hate you for not wanting to hear it. What's with all the hate? You're part of the, you're like the part of the problem, screw. I called you out on that, remember? That's why you don't ever talk about me to my face is because I said if you want to have more black re representation put them on your channel nobody's forcing you to put Eminem nobody nobody's forcing you to put Tom McDonald or NF dude even I knew because I rocked with you for so long that Jay-Z was your favorite rapper and somebody from SFJ Nation, ugh, bung, arrogant, ignorant, more like it. What's his name? I wrote it down because he was just a whole ball of insanity. Arrogant mung or ung or whatever. Lucky he had a kid or else I would have never gave him the time of day. But he was trying to tell me that Tech 9 was your favorite rapper. Since when? Since when? People from SFJ Nation actually probably didn't want to have to stand up and say, oh, you're wrong, dude, but they did. And that's pretty sad. Underrepresented and do not get the same looks as others. If you hate me for saying that, I hate you for not wanting to hear it. And then someone responds, I hate you for not wanting to hear it. Do you forget there are unrepresented white rappers? I guess if I'm a rapper, I like hates me for an opinion that... I hate you for not wanting to hear it. Do you forge the un underrepresented underrepresented white rappers? Shout out to Neo. Guess if a rapper I like hates me for an opinion that isn't his, then that I'm unsubbing and unfollowing. Done with your S screw. Dax has more morales than you. Why is it so easy for other people to see? Wow. Exactly. What did hate have to do with it? There's a lot of underrepresented people. You know how many people are asking me to put them on? I don't even get that many views. I'm not a big channel. I'm a teeny tiny fish. But people just want to be put on just, just to get a couple looks. I'm just trying to listen to music. I didn't ask for all this controversy, but at the same time, I'm not somebody that you just step on either. You know, we all got to stand up sometime. I'm not going to tell my kids to stand up to something and then be like, oh, well, just this time, I guess. Oh, just this time. Oh, I'm going to warn you. No, it gets old. This person does not learn. He's not going to change. doesn't care about anybody but himself, so... Uh, it's time to leave. <laughs> that isn't his, that I'm unsubbing and unfollowing. Done with your shit, Screw. Dax has more morals than you. That pretty much explains how Screw is right off the bat. So not only is he complaining that there's too many white people on the cipher, not only is he complaining that there's not enough black people on the cipher, then on the second cipher, he got a longer verse on that second cipher and was on the cipher twice, and there were more black people on the cipher. That, my friend, shows me that you not only manipulated Crypt to be on the cipher again and longer, that you're a racist piece of shit because <laughs> you're saying that there's a white bias on YouTube. It's the same shit with white people or yeah. anyone. If I said as a white person, there's too many 
black people on the cipher, that shit Oof. wouldn't slide with anyone. Why it does it that Screw says there's too many white people on the cipher, that shit slides. That shit doesn't Facts. slide. If you want racism to stop, as a black person yourself, you should stop bringing up race and bringing race into everything. Because if you want racism to stop, that is not the way to go about it. As a white person myself, I find that fucked up and racist as shit. Now, I don't know Damn. about you, but for me personally, I wouldn't want to follow someone as racist as that. He's pretty much another Lord Jamal. That, my friend, does not slide in the YouTube community at all, or shouldn't slide for anyone. Another thing nope. that leads me to believe that Screwface Sean is racist is because there's just many clips of him mentioning stuff about racism. Don't ask me about hunger, send my people to feed in the boat. Exactly. Try to flip it, let's get wicked. They say you were racist because you want representation of people the color your faces. The hood doesn't listen to Lama Obama Scruella DeVille, let me just tell you, I think that was probably a reference to me, and if I'm reaching, then good, because good lord, I could care less. I don't listen to your music, but the fact that you're saying that people are mad because you want black representation, not at all. I've said time and time again, put black people on your channel. Quit bitching about it and do it. It's called, look. I'm on YouTube. My name is Screwface Jean. I can put people on my freaking YouTube channel. Or do you want them to pay you? It's really sad when I have more diversity and I am part time on this. Jesus. Let's get wicked. They say you were racist because you want representation of people the mm. color your faces. The hood doesn't listen to her. That is a fact. As of today, just like the hood doesn't listen to Lord Jim. Dude, Royce already, just go bury yourself with a shovel, MGK's shovel. You know how many people from the hood spoke out and said, yeah, we do listen to old boy. I mean, you just, my God, dude, did you get the same information from where you found that blindside wasn't blind? Oh, what the, I thought I lived under a rock. Anyway. They don't listen to Eminem. How you don't see no separation when the segregation in your motherfucking teeth? How you don't see no separation when the segregation in your motherfucking teeth? I lived with somebody who was white from the Midwest, wasn't from the South, but had a lot of family from the South. Let me tell you, this white guy, I'm pretty sure hated white people. Not 100% sure, but I'm about 87% sure he hated white people. I don't know why, but he did. So it don't mean you were racist by having the rebel flag. You guys have to understand that to African Americans especially, that's a symbol of oppression. All right, so I do understand that. I do understand that. I get that loud and clear. Some people will look at it as, yes, that symbol. Some people will not. There's a lot of people that, white people too, will find it offensive. People find it offensive if my hair is down. People will find it offensive if I wear earrings, if I wear makeup, if I wear a certain shirt. But the fact of the matter is that Confederate flag People like this guy are especially going to take advantage of that. So you may not be a racist and have that Confederate flag. You have a problem. If he has a problem with you, you better believe he's going to say something about it. Oh, is that a reach? I don't know. So don't get this twisted, but just because I showed these clips, it doesn't mean that I think he's being racist in all of them. The reason for which I showed these clips is because it goes to show how much he brings race into things and how much he has this race mentality and how he makes everything about race per se. Showing these clips mixed with a lot of other things that he does just goes to show that he has that race mentality to him. And there's also that whole Upchurch deal where he pulled the race card on Upchurch and then brings race into the situation yep. and then mentions a whole lot of racist bullshit. Said I don't work with white people, like that statement will work, but I ain't never seen you put a black male on the first. With Kelso, have you not heard of Kelso? I mean, you did like no homework. You just went out like freaking a 1950s black dude going at a white guy we're in 2019 dude racism exists because of people like you like you we're trying to get along we're trying to help one another I know that's what I was doing with you 
I know that's what Ryan was trying to do with you, and then you pulled this? When all your other stuff didn't get off the ground? This dirt, you can get black men with this blurs, black skin, black hoodie. Now I'm in this habitat. This man tried to tell me racism is a myth. Ryan never said that racism is a myth. I think I have the screenshots and I put it on Twitter as well. If I had known all of this was going to come up, I would have been ready, but my god. I think Ryan even embarrassed you and said that your fan base deserves a better leader. Why are you holding them back? It's supposed to be uplifting. Disappointment. You know what privilege is? Thinking racism don't exist. Trick, that's like me saying your gap don't exist. So like half of your fans ain't wishing that blacks don't exist. These are facts, little. Wishing that blacks don't exist? Who in the world would say that? I find that offensive coming from a very blended family. Do you know that his fan base is also very blended? What in God's name are you talking about? Man, here I thought the youth was making things better. Not all, I guess. Shout out to Tech. I know Tech is. He's only 19. Boy. Bitch, little grip, but I'm shooting back. Doctor put his ass on white sheets. He probably used it that. He said, I cannot be racist. That's just some wax shit. My producers are black men. My girlfriend is Latin. And he all she's Puerto Rican. So she's mixed. I mean, at least get the facts right, dude. And yeah, so what? So... He does work with black people. Dota was your cousin, right? Or is your cousin? And he's still in Nebraska. He was doing all the camera work, but you left him to come to California. So, word is, dude really needs the money. And where are you? Okay. Almost had me too until I asked this. Wait, didn't Donna Sterling have a black chick? He like, I ain't racist, I got one fucking black friend. American history X, he tried to harm me, but this time the white boy's teeth is on the concrete. How you don't see no separation when the segregation in your motherfucking teeth? Now doesn't that show that he's a lot like Lord Jamar himself? Now another thing I would like to bring up in this situation is the whole blind sight and screw face John supposedly beef. The reason for why Blindsight started a diss on Screwface Jean was because there was a lot of things going on behind the scenes between him and Screwface Jean. Blindsight put it in the description of his video, which says, Before you all start going all crazy, I stopped rocking with- I never read this. Before you start going all crazy, I stopped rocking with Screw after church ordeal and later found out about the trash talking. About some of the rappers on YouTube Cypher Volume 1. I won't even get into that because how Screw went about it was wrong. I'm all for the battle rap and that's all it should be, period. There it is. Screw even said, hey, just come at me if it's for the battle rap. I'm not perfect at all in this either because after that awkward period, I bit my tongue and never said anything about it except to two people. I even tried to rock with Screw again after the fact and feel horrible for it because I was doing it all for the wrong reasons. I'm a hardcore Crypt fan, y'all already know this, and when I found Crypt was still cool with Screw, I felt like I couldn't go there unless I wanted to end my friendship with Crypt, and I definitely don't want to do that. But I realized I was being fake doing exactly what Screw was calling everyone out for. I'm guilty of dissing Dax when I had no reason to. At the same, at the time, I felt like I was sticking up for Crypt and YouTube rappers and the morals of the situation, but, but I was wrong. It was never my place. You're right on that screw, and I'm also guilty of not just coming to screw behind the scenes and handling this man to man when I heard the sneak disses in question, and also that he had a problem with me and some other on YouTube Cypher Volume 1. Call me whatever you want for that, but the truth is, I've heard some horror stories about how he 
yeah, if you go to him, just like Cloud9 tried, he just cancels you out. He ignores you because he feels he's bigger than you. With screw after the church ordeal and later found out about the trash talking about some of the rappers on youtube cypher volume one so like i mentioned the whole youtube cypher stuff behind the scenes he was trash talking about the people on the cypher itself i won't even get into that because how screw went about it was all wrong i'm all for battle rap and that's all it should be period now he later goes on to mention the fact that he knows he might be reaching with some of the clips that he added in the video he says that in his whole paragraph what screw does here is even more disrespectful than anything he ended up here. Now he later went about it was all wrong. I'm all for battle rap and that's all it should be period. Now he later goes on to mention the fact that he knows he might be reaching with some of the clips that he added in the video. He says that it says I've heard some horror stories about how he handles things. I'm mad enough to admit screw scares me. And I know his fans get pretty brutal. Wow. That is pretty sad. I told you. Screw and his disciples are uh, over extra. And I'm just not about that drama, so I just kept my mouth shut. I'm guilty of a lot of things, but I'm a genuine person and wear my heart on my sleeve. That's a fact. I was raised, if you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing unless provoked. And I just can't do it anymore. And I'm sorry to any of my fans if I misled any of you. I own full responsibility for my actions. But I'm trying to make it right. Encrypt, I love you, brother. And I hope this doesn't affect our friendship. Sad part is, I like Screw's music. Most of it anyways. But I feel like he has been sneak dissing me. As you'll see in the clips. And trust me, I know I could be wrong. But I'm going with my gut. And when he called everyone out in this crisis track. I felt like this is either I bark or I tuck my tail. So challenge accepted, and I know I'm probably going to get roasted. Ha <laughs> ha. That's what this is all about, and that's cool. Let's give the fans some entertaining music, and yes, screw, I'm prepared for you to get real personal. But I'll tell you now, I clean out my own closet, so bring the blind jokes, drug addict bars. I'm a fake. That in his whole paragraph. What Screw does here is even more disrespectful than anything. He ended up trying to spin and manipulate the situation with blindsight, saying that he's trying to reach. This is what these people do, man. I think y'all know what he's doing. So you really reaching? I want everybody who believed that those were about him, pull up. If anybody is watching this and thinks that was a diss, welcome to Reach Academy. You're, you're doing great here. Uh, you're flying with... You I'm so glad I didn't watch the reaction because this is already just infuriating. It, it is because I can't, I mean, it's very, very weird how we went from Energizer Bunny Bars to the battery packs on the back. He mentions how if he, if he shoots you in the back, battery acid eats your face. I don't know. That seems like not very much of a reach, but I'm not a rapper, so I guess I don't know. You're, you're, you're passing your class with fine colors. Oh, people keep hitting me up saying, this guy. Are you clearly reaching here, though, thinking Tom will diss you when you guys spoke prior to this? Welcome to Reach Academy. This is when the students become the master. <laughs> Good job, Jay. I wrote a diss song about you, and that guy wrote a diss song about you, and when are you going to respond? And all I got to say is new video Friday. To me, what the, what Tom is saying is I don't care about none of that. My new video is Friday. Dude has more important things to worry about. That's all that that meant to me. It didn't mean nothing about no disses. Dude made it look so simple with Mac Lethal. So simple. I couldn't even believe it. It was like he literally went to Disneyland and they said, oh, I got to do a diss track. Okay, here we go. Five minutes. Boom. And did it on the spot. And it was flawless. Funny, humorous, disrespectful, petty. He made it look simple. He made it look easy. I mean, Jesus. You think that he, Tom is going to have a problem coming at Screw? Huh. No. Tom's not trying to make anybody relevant. He's busy. He's on tour with Struggle. He's on tour with Nova. He's doing things, you know? 
Here's what I think, and this is what my gonna be gonna be my problem with this song. Tom knows I wasn't dissing. Tom knows I wasn't going at him. He knows that. We've talked about it. But do I think that's gonna stop Tom from you using this moment to drop a song? The reaching people want there to be like drama or entertainment no matter what, whether it's with you yeah. or without you which blindsight himself even said in the description of this video but i feel like he has been sneak dissing me and you'll see in the clips and trust me i know i'm prepared for you to get real personal but i clean out my own closet so bring the blind jokes drug addict bars fake jake snake oh yeah old man bars those are always fun, fast rapper that don't say anything, insecure. You can play the whole I would never say this stuff to your face bars. Stop my teeth, crypt F boy. Maybe some stand bars, studio gangster stuff, maybe. F my wife punches are cool. Could go serial killer, get nasty with that. I'm sure I'll hear gun bars. I brought some punches of my own. But in the end, this is battle rap and nothing more than that. You're just way too real blindsight really he did not deserve any of this you gave him so much I honestly don't feel like you're just too cool too cool for this guy I'm here to share my opinions and views, but also entertain my fans and make some great music. Exactly. My mama always told me to stand up for myself, no matter how scary it may be. You have to de demand your respect, but also stay humble. Yep. I could be wrong, but I'm going with my gut. And when he called out everyone on his crisis track, I felt like this is either I bark or tuck my tail. So challenge accepted. He also goes on to mention is that he actually likes Screw's music and he used to be a fan of Screw. So what Screw does is he takes this and he goes, I'm gonna manipulate the situation. And also says that he's reaching and being fake. I don't know about you, but I could spin the same bullshit on you, Screw. Weren't you showing love to Blindsight here on the YouTube Cypher Volume 1? The blind guy can rap, putting in work on the track, so I can be the one that <laughs> The blind guy can rap! Um... Yeah. That was dope. I like the little story he was telling. But then later on, go to say that there were too many white people on the cypher and complained about it here. That to me seems like some fake bullshit. Coming from someone who tends to say it on his videos a lot, I'm not one for painting a narrative. So you know what I'm not gonna allow? I'm not gonna allow people to uh, paint this narrative that may not be true. Here's the definition of bully. A person too many negatives. I'm not gonna allow people to paint a narrative that may not be true. So he's not even sure how true he is about himself. How do you talk that unsteadily about your own self? You should know deep down to the very center of your being who you are. Either you are or you aren't. If there's a gray area, it should be a gray area in love and matters of finance and matters of, not matters of your realness, not matters of who you are as a person. person who habitually seeks to harm or intimidate a person who habitually seeks to harm or intimidate those whom they perceive as vulnerable yeah yeah this is what was happening up until gosh even recently even hillbilly has been hitting me up like okay have you been getting any pushback for anything because usually i do it, it'll come they usually wait till I'm maybe 20 videos out and then they start with my older videos. The hate comments, the trolling, all that kind of stuff. But it's better than going on my most recent videos and then having to fight with them there. So, yeah. Those whom they perceive as vulnerable. So not only is Blindsight vulnerable in this situation, because Screw has a lot more of a bigger audience, he manipulates and twists the situation yeah. and goes to say that Blindsight is faking being blind. Blindsight, you have an actual problem. You're not blind whatsoever. You throw around the word sociopath like you know it. You, you clearly don't know what that means. He's not actually blind. He has what he calls pinhole vision. This is the part that's offensive about that. 
This man has the vis enough vision to write music, but he calls himself blind. Just someone who has bad vision and says you're blind. We already went through this, remember? It's not. It's more than bad vision, guy. Yikes. This is his video, not mine. Pretend to be blind so people give you sympathy. Wow. Which doesn't make sense because Screw clearly knows that Blindsight is actually blind due to him saying this. Nothing but a sound car. He blind. He blind. That's what that's blindsided blind, so he can't even write. And due to Screwface's best friend Crypt verifying that he is in fact actually blind. Blindsight is an extremely close friend of mine and he is 95% blind. He has a walking cane. You can see it in some clips of his section of this video. Uh, but basically the way he sees, he says it's like looking through a straw. He's, he's blind, okay? He is blind. Blindsight has a condition known as retinitis pigmentosa. And retinitis pigmentosa is a group of rare genetic... We just learned about this too. Light sensitive retina located at the back of the eye to degenerative slowly and progressively. The condition can vary greatly. While many people with RP retain limited vision throughout their lives, others will lose their sight completely. These images give an impression of what someone with retinitis pigmentosa may see compared to someone with normal vision. Click below to download the full accessible fact sheets for retinitis pigmentosa. Difficulty seeing at night, night blindness, or in dimly lit areas, a narrowing field of vision, light and glare sensitivity. Generally, symptoms develop between the ages of 10 and 30. Some of the first symptoms may include. This is horrible. Genetic disorders that involve a breakdown and loss of cells in the retina, which is the light sensitive tissue that lines the back of the eye. Common symptoms include difficulty seeing at night, loss of side peripheral vision, and if someone has vision worse than 2200 vision, they are in fact considered blind. So it doesn't make sense that you are trying to spin this fake narrative that blindsight isn't actually blind when your friend verifies that blindsight is blind and then go on to say you're going to slap him when you see him for lying to the fans and for lying to the people and for pretending just being a liar and being dishonest that's why you're getting slapped so if i see you just know that this is what bullying a blind person looks like and it was all caught on camera a visually <gasps> impaired teenager taking the punches watch as an alleged bully appears to attack a fellow student who police say is visually impaired. And this is what Screwface John himself said he would do to Blindsight. It's funny how you say in your Crisis remix, hypocrites are some silly shit. Ah, hypocrites are some silly shit. I'm not an idiot. I ain't know what it really is. And then you go on to mention how Blindsight doesn't even know what sociopath means when you don't even know what the word blind means. You don't even know that being blind is a spectrum. It's funny how you say hypocrites are some silly shit where you're always saying one thing but then going on your back with another thing. I'm not gonna allow people Facts. to uh, paint this narrative that- Don't need to, dude. You painted already a pretty sad picture yourself. May not be true. Blindsight, you have an actual problem. You're not blind whatsoever. For nothing but a sound card. He blind. He blind. That's what, that's blindsided blind, so he can't even write. Blindsight doesn't call himself blind. He is legally blind. Under the law, he is blind. To say to your fans that he's faking being blind when you clearly know the man is blind himself, I don't paint any narratives. You painted a narrative on blindsight, got your fans to hate and attack on him saying he's faking being blind. And you know he's blind, yet you apparently don't paint fake narratives, right? hypocritical. So not only is Screw racist because he claims that there's a white bias on YouTube and that black people are unrepresented, not only does he manipulate his audience and manipulate his friends and spin a fake narrative and bully, he bullies a blind man. Another thing that I'll, I would like to mention that is pretty fucked up is this whole Cloud9 situation. If you guys aren't aware about the situation with Dax, Screw pretty much paid Dax for a service to not only feature on a song and promote his song, but to shoot a music video as well. And Dax didn't end up holding his end of the bargain, which is fair enough. I would understand why you could be annoyed and pissed off about that. Right here is where you should have said all the stuff you're about to say that makes what you said a lie. But there's a reason why in January 5th, 
on my G when I had 50,000 subs and put a video out I would spend literally days sending it manually to thousands of people myself on all my platforms with individual messages that had their specific handle in it so it was personalized even at a million subs I still send out thousands of video clips for kids to post myself at a song without Genesis and that ninja didn't say anything about it first song I didn't I did with Hobson that ninja didn't say anything about it I took that and made it blow myself never even asked them to share it every kid who's ever complained to me about not sharing a feature is the same kids who and don't end up doing anything I didn't share Four Horsemen because it wasn't something I wanted to share I didn't like or believe in the song golly Dax then why do it why do something you don't believe in golly what are people doing I asked you specifically for a service. This is the game that rappers that are bigger than you do. You'll pay exactly what they asked for, and then they'll double back. But then come to find out that Screwface is doing this himself with the whole Cloud9 incident is pretty yeah. fucked up. So he pretty is. much what happened with Cloud9 is Cloud9 hits him up for some promotion. Yeah, because I talked to Cloud9 myself. And cut you a deal. We've used your services a, a few times in the past. Okay. Yeah. I've I've talked to Cloud9 and he said that at first um it was his advisor that was making the deals and then uh Screw started getting disrespectful with his advisor and he's just like, "Why we're paying you to do this? You've done it before in the past." Okay, fine. I understand you're busy, but then it becomes later and later. We're trying to catch a wave. You know, we're we're riding a wave and okay the next week it may not be good for us so then screw refunds him right but not before he tells them a whole bunch of stuff like dude you're annoying and I'm not even about them you're you know I'm not even about the music like what does that even mean you're a reactor of course you're about the music or why are you doing this on a video for a reaction video prior to this he's done a reaction to cloud nine before hold on hold on and screw says yeah yada yada he'll do it so he sends the money and screw says he'll do it this time in this day and then later on he ends up not holding up his end of the bargain yeah. and doing the re cloud nine said it was like it literally he sent him the money and then screw turns right around and says oh i can't do it right now right there yeah, fam, I'm probably just going to send you your money back. It's like you're not looking at what I'm doing right now. You don't. You didn't even pay the full amount everyone else pays, and this is too much of a headache. After he just said he would do it. I mean, that's exactly right. He was complaining about Dax, and he's doing the same exact thing. reaction when he states he would do the reaction he gives his money back and then he ends up telling him he doesn't care for the music if you're taking my reasons as excuses then that's fine but we don't need to do business fam i don't care about the music like that it's fine thanks for reaching out wow music like that what does that have to do with anything i never meant no disrespect until you show me disrespect trying to slow down on my promo you homo i bet fucking old man who just sit in a basement then double up on my price on my reactions you basic if i'm paying that much you think that he'd have his own station if you get paid like that then why don't i see way more places if you're going to take money from someone for a certain amount of time and say you're going to do a service and then later on don't actually end up holding up your end of the bargain and doing that service whether you gave the money back or not that to me makes you know better than Dax whatsoever and the reason why that makes you know better than Dax is for the fact that you didn't hold up your end of a service you said one thing and then went with another thing but there's a reason why in January 5th I asked you specifically for a service this is the game that rappers that are bigger than you do you'll pay exactly what they asked for and then they'll double back cloud nine in the time that you mentioned that you were going to do this reaction and promo for him he could have done something else with his time exactly how you mentioned that you could have done something else with your money and your time with the whole dax situation i could have paid for a cartoon to be made put that money behind a bigger push if i would have known you weren't going to do that that's the issue cloud nine could have done the same shit 
yet you were complaining to Dax for doing the exact same thing to you. Why would he go, and I was mad. I come from hip hop, I come from battle rap, so I've never been disrespected like that. So I've never been disrespected like that. Yeah, yeah, you can disrespect others. Um, a shout out to Karma Train. Karma Train's been rocking with script at when he had only what did she say 200 200 subs something like that girl has been with him a long time and she's australian and she got disrespected hard you can go and look look her up at karma trains on twitter and that's with a k karma and trains put it together i know you guys are not that bad at spellers maybe maybe not i don't know um, she looked it up, the battle rap, that was a long time ago. We're not sure exactly how many battles he won, but it was just kind of like, I mean, we're not talking like Chef Trez type battle raps, you know, uh, not taking anything away from Screw, but he keeps throwing that in everybody's face. And then he says, I've never been disrespected like that. It's like, well, if you battle rap, yeah, you're going to get disrespected all day long. So... But I guess he means realistically in the real world. But if you don't like being disrespected, why would you treat others with such disrespect? Or disdain for that matter? Disrespected like that. You literally sound like a 40-year-old meth head. Sounds like you drink ashtrays is what it sounds like. Just being a liar and being dishonest, that's why you're getting slapped. So if I see you, just know that. For someone who claims to be real and keep it a buck, to base his whole channel off of not being like Dax and constantly throw shade on Dax, this is one of the most hypocritical things I've ever seen Screwface John do. And not only that, Cloud9 also goes to mention that Screw ends up doubling up his reaction price from what it originally was. Then double up on my price on my reactions, you basic. And I'm not the only one that feels this way with the Cloud9 incident, because there are many other people who feel this way too. Y'all yeah. know, y'all remember when we had Dax and, and Screw mafia. going at it and Screw was upset about, you know, Dax not carrying in or well, carrying out his end of the bargain. No, it seemed like the same situation with Cloud9 and Screw. Ironically enough, the same shit he was getting yeah. on Dax about, about paying for services and Dax not coming through on his end of the, you know, bargain and shit. Right? <laughs> same situation. So it kind of was like, whoa. But so Screw is conning people out of money now? Is he? Is he? Turning into uh, Dax, or you know what's going on here? <laughs> I, I, I don't, and I don't even know why why you're getting mad. Military channel. You said you would do this at this time, and you got paid for doing it at this time. Right. But you didn't do it. What you said about Dax is what you see when you look into the mirror. That's a fact. And this is a similar thing he did to Laid Back, by the way, where he promised a feature on a song with Facts. Laid Back and never delivered Shout on that promise as well. This goes to show that not only is Screw a hypocrite because he's doing exactly what Dax did to him, he's racist because he thinks there's a white bias on YouTube. He's manipulating his friends to be on the side for multiple times and he's bullying blind people. So apart from the racism and the bullying and the manipulation, there are also a lot of small things on the side that Screwface himself does and claims that he is, yet contradicts himself all the time. Another funny thing is how he tends to talk about clout chasing in a negative way, but then in another clip he talks about clout chasing in the sense of stop giving clout chasing this negative term everyone's I remember chasing. that. Every See, everybody was on my case because I was like, didn't he try to tell us that clout chasing was like a cool thing? Everyone's like, no, that was a Dax thing. Dax was trying to say clout chasing is like the new positive thing. And I'm all, I could have sworn it was this guy. And I'm like, what? Let's listen. Everybody says everything is clout chasing. Not everything is clout chasing, but he knows I wasn't talking about it. That's the part. Uh, I don't think so. Listen, this clout chasing thing needs to stop. Oh. Just the word in itself needs to die. Cloud chasing has literally put people in jail. It's like it's literally 
ending people's lives in Chicago. Ah, hypocrites are some silly shit. Yeah, you have used the term clout chasing in a negative way so many freaking times on your channel. You used it with the whole blindsight situation saying he was clout chasing. And you've mentioned it in a lot of other instances calling out people for just per se clout chasing, which doesn't make mm. sense. Because then you go on to say this about clout chasing being painted in a negative way, but then calling out other people's for clout chasing. Bro. And if he, I have no idea if he's... And I don't care. But if he's trying to say other channels, me included, are doing this for any clout, no. Because guess what? I get way more views simply talking about music. Real music, classic rock, freaking Motown, other rap artists. The least views I get are is about this guy. So I get negative clout. Like Snoop Dogg said in, what was it, Starsky and Hutch, um, you just went up a notch in my book. You're at negative one. Like, literally, I go negative points. You do tons of remixes and call out people all the time you did a track on ksi when all that ksi drama Soldier stuff happened. Boy. you mentioned eminem and dax all the freaking time oh. you clickbait your videos like any other reaction channel does including Damn. myself you've literally built your name off of quote-unquote clout chasing so it doesn't make sense that you're going to call out others for clout chasing then go back on your word and say people got to stop using the term clout chasing you're contradicting yourself there all right so one other thing i want to quickly mention real talk homie from one youtube artist to another you're acting real out of place your fans can see it too man you need to calm down and chill because a lot of rappers are going to go for your neck this ain't disrespect this respect from one youtuber artist to another your content lately been seeming real off for a lot of people for a while just warning you because I know you're really a good guy be careful bro nothing has changed I did a lot of Dax reactions so Dax fans flooded my last comments that not my fans trust me they're not acting out of place I just don't lie wow all right up and bringing this video is the fact that me and screw ourselves has actually had a conversation together now this is not really very important so i won't really show the whole conversation but basically what happened is i hit screw up before doing this video because i wanted to show him what he's doing and i wanted to make him aware of what he's doing and tell him that people are going to go for his neck people are going to disrespect him and people are going to make claims about him right he pretty much responds with i'm too small you're bigger than me you're just an up-and-comer you don't understand and he responds with everyone that is hating on him everyone that I may still be coming up but it don't mean s I'm just giving you constructive feedback as a fan myself and you're just ignoring it from your own fan and taking it way too negatively I'm telling you a story that I have not really told anybody when he did scream the up and coming weeks up until scream he had been pushing it he'd been hyping it like he should so when I heard it and you're talking I'm you know thinking it's going to be like the next big Eminem thing, right? And I heard it, and there's a couple of places where he didn't go as hard as I thought he could. And that's all I said. I said, man, if you just go harder right here, um, it would have just been the most perfect track, da-da-da, you know? I didn't get a little heart from Screw. I think I was really, like, crestfallen that day. I thought about it. I'm like, every comment I've ever made, I got, like, a pat on the head like good job but that one time and I thought him being a rapper he's got to hear constructive criticism all the time that's what rappers that's what my god you guys have to have the thickest skin because other rappers are constantly coming for your neck so you get good why do you think Eminem is so good you think that he would be able to be in a realm where it's majority black artists genius black artists that have this on lock and just any white person gonna come in there no you have to be Eminem you have to be on point so if you're gonna be mr. sensitive you're on the wrong game period just like if you're a youtuber and you use everybody to block all your comments and and everybody to erase them he has moderators erasing all the bad comments out of his comment section He's done that for months. How are you going to learn?
I learn the most from all the troll comments. Some of them are, I don't learn anything from because they're mostly like personal attacks, but some are really constructive. Is criticizing for how he acts or how he is. He pushes them aside as just Dax fans. This is disrespectful as shit. Anyone who has a problem with him or is criticizing any. Literally not the first thing you said. Now you're just criticizing how I put my vids together and that isn't new. You've been super dramatic and if they don't like it, why are those my highest viewed vids? Use you YouTube, got, you gotta be able to actually see these things and not get caught up in the comment section. Trust me, it will ruin you. My con It's because of my interaction with everyone. And no one's gonna just agree wholeheartedly. I get a lot of people, I, in fact I encourage it. As long as you're respectful, please disagree. I don't want any sheep here. I don't need that. But if you're like a real a-hole, I don't need you here. Why is he ignoring his comment section? That's just how I feel. And a lot of people are saying in your comment section, it's just what I see, bro. No disrespect. Read your comment section. Anything about him, he will immediately push you aside as a Dax fan. And I go to tell him that no, there's so much proof that it's more than just Dax. Your fans keep telling you that you keep taking too long to get to the point and you're not listening you have so much filler in your intros and outros and talking so much. You keep making content about Dax and Eminem homie and your fans keep saying it's boring. You need to freshen up your content and change it around time to time. Not hating, but you should listen to what your fans want. This is what I'm just seeing from an outside perspective. I can't believe you said this. This is amazing. <laughs> you have guts. You have guts. Because isn't he trying to bring more black people as a collective onto his channel, but yet you're sure not seeing it? Mmm. And I want to see you succeed, and if you don't listen to your fans, you'll lose a lot of them, man. I don't want to see you fall off, bro. It's just what I keep seeing in your comment section constantly, and just worries me. Hope you don't see this as hate. Just trying to give you your advice from a good fan. Wow. As fans that you fans literally are seeing the same thing, but he still wants to brush you guys off as just Dax fans, which is very disrespectful, and shows he cannot take criticism, and he'll just... People say they were fans to try to validate their point, but they aren't fans. I never will listen to them. LOL, once you get those comments on vids, they aren't saying a rapper. They are fans of isn't dope. Then you listen, but you still are in the phase where it's hard for you to tell the difference between your true fans and the clutter of the internet. Damn, this guy should have been a lawyer. Look okay, at right there. Taylor Graham, bro. It takes hours to get to the point of the video. Like, nobody cares what day it is, fam. Get to the point. <laughs> 377 likes and 43 comments. Wow. Oh, okay. Just push anything aside for what he believes. He also disrespects someone else in the DM. You think about doing a podcast about me now? Just know this combo is screenshotted, my G. I don't want to expose you guys, but I'm telling you right now, you know I can't because you're literally lying like you already said. But you keep going, bro. You're literally going to force me. Leave me alone, bro. For real, for real. I'm not playing with you. What? Because trying to have an adult conversation involving people from the YouTube platform about your comments and how the YouTube community is taking it? Wow, you really are a completely different person than you show when the red dot is on. No, bro, because you're helping to paint a narrative you know is not true. I'm not painting anything, man. You are doing a good enough job doing that. And what you said will show that you guys are really weird for that. Trust me, bro. You guys are trying and I'm not working. Trust me. I don't know what you think I'm doing. People see through what you, you're doing and I have left you guys alone. I asked the same. He's talking about me as well because I've asked to be left alone. Um, somebody, I forget, uh, I might have been... I want to say no clout maybe no clout I'm sorry if I'm throwing you in this and it's not you but it yeah he wanted to just ask him his side of the story and dude was like all paranoid or whatnot it was weird no clout has nothing to do with this he just wanted to get this guy's side of the story that's all like for him to you know be able to explain himself 
The people you are tagging are hitting me up. This weird game y'all are playing is not the one. I don't know. Which I won't mention their name. That he found out they was going to do a podcast on him. And literally said that oh, he has was... screenshots and will literally oh. expose him. He goes into people's DMs and disrespects them if he is not happy with something that they have to say about him. That's so fucked up. Jay. Trying to kill me with screenshots. Bitch, I survived situations you actually could be shot. Trying to kill me with Really? He's not from the hood. He's from the country. I actually am. So him saying that is laugh to me. For most of you who know, I'm not saying this to gather any cred because I don't need it. But yeah, I've survived situations where there is guns involved. I don't mess with guns. I don't need to. I've seen enough in my lifetime since the minute I've been walking to now. And when my dad passed away, a violent death, a violent death. He was buried alive. So violence is a strange bedfellow. I don't know what else to tell you. So rapping about it and living it are two different things. How can you have this disregard comment section mentality when the comment section is a part of YouTube? I get disregarding your hate and disregarding anyone who's just trying to hate you. But when I tell you, I see fans literally telling you something. I'm a Nebraskan fan. I've been seeing his ego shape him into a person that criticizes the local artists for choosing to use a certain platform. He did it in I'm so much better than you attitude that as a fan and not an artist, I felt offended. I haven't been messing with his reactions lately and didn't even bother to watch the full Slime Shady video. Just left a bad taste in my mouth after seeing the way he treated the local scene. Wow. You guys won't have to worry because now he's in California. Something. And you go out of your... I'm sorry, but you were off beat, bro. I love your videos, but this is not it. If this was the Slime Shady one, I feel you. I feel like every time he says facts, it's really wanting to say Dax. Imagine a screw featuring King Iso. Wait, to just disregard them. My respect level just went up a notch for you, Blindside. And I was already a huge fan. Great job, bub. Tired of Screw's ego. He lost my support long ago. I want a Blindside shirt. Fans that are actually giving you feed. Watch out, guys. Every time his fan base agrees one way in a comment section, he turns and disses us. <laughs> Let's go. You something, and you go out of your way to just dis guard them fans that are action. It's been desperate at this point. I just feel sorry for him as his hate turned him into a clown, while the other guy he's hating on keeps doing his ish. For real, I'm a screw fan. I'm losing respect for him. Screw need to get on his grind and try to reach Dax's level instead of hating out of jealousy. Whoa. Actually give me Wow. Any feedback? I like Screw, but this is pure hate. He complained on every line, even those where he didn't need a comment. You could see time and time again where he had to stop. I think it's something funny to say. Again, I like Screw, but this isn't funny nor a good video. And as a fan that want to see What does that mean? You're a Dax fan. You're literally the biggest joke online. Next. I could say the exact same thing. That's all Dax's fans do. They crush people's dreams, tell them they can't do S just so Dax makes it. Ninja, you trash. See you grow and succeed. You're dis. Dang, dude. I F was screwed, but being seen all this S about him lately got me thinking otherwise. You're a lyrical genius, G. Keep killing it. Honestly, I agree. I saw the ego thing start in his vids even earlier than the Upchurch thing, but in his music, Upchurch is when it started. That's the truth. It's regarding them as a da- Don't know what's up, but Screw's videos have been irritating me a little lately. Man, Screw, you know me. We all got your back, but put some mind into your content before you make a video. You just reacted to a Slim Shady LP song that you've already reacted to, and now this? This Philip Jones video has been reported on Eminem's Reddit two days ago. Next, you're gonna make a video when Eminem- <laughs> <gasps> Passes gas and stop eating on film. F. Dax fan. 
that's some disrespectful shit right there. So what this shows me is he has a massive ego and he cannot take criticism or feedback at all. Well, His ego that. gets to him too much. He calls out all these other people like Upchurch that he has nothing to do with and tells his fans that you guys are just clout chasers whenever you're against him, but then he's clout chasing himself. This is a major contradiction. So just to sum everything up, Screw manipulates his friend to be on the cypher because there's not enough black people on the cypher. He feels like black people are unrepresented and he completely disregards the fact that more than just black people are unrepresented. He disrespects his fans. He bullies a blind man and tells him he's gonna slap a blind man and paints a narrative that he's not blind when he is blind. He handles his business the same way that Dax handles his business and what his channel has been based upon and what he preaches with the Dax situation he does himself. He's a racist, he's a liar, he's a manipulator, he's a hypocrite, and he's just straight on disrespectful. I don't know about you, but personally, from someone who used to be a fan and saw all this bullshit, that immediately makes me lose all respect for this person. Now, Screw grinds hard, but a lot of his grinding is working hard to bury his own career. Before you run your own channel into the ground, take this into consideration. A lot more people are saying this, and not only just me. Thanks for watching. Amazing. Amazing. Wow. <laughs> I don't know how long this was, but I just was just blown away. Okay, that's the train, but man, thank you. Thank you again, Jay. Um, I just had to watch this with everybody for anybody who might have been missing something or thinking that it's just me hating on him. You are coming from a fan point of view. I appreciate this so thank you homie and do your thing you are killing it like an like an investigative journal journalist I'm tired I haven't had sleep yet but still this was very informative do your thing kill it at okay, bye I think I got some upchurch stuff I gotta do reactions